Soft, followed by Todd Graffinini, and then we'll open it up to the floor. Thanks. Good evening, Coach. Donovan Mitchell is such a special player for the Jazz. So many teams, including the Pelicans, have struggled with him. What is it that makes him so potent? Well, I mean, he can... Uh... He can play off the dribble. He can really shoot the ball. He's got great explosive athletic ability. Um, not a lot of holes in his game. He's a great three-point shooter, and certainly, really, seven out of nine of their main rotational players are. What is the key to guarding the perimeter tonight? Well, it's just really, really hard because they've always got four shooters on the floor. They've always got four guys shooting over 37% from three and they get you spread out on their pick and rolls and then they start moving the ball uh, and they get into their drive and kick game and it's tough to keep up with them. Um, you know, a lot of people have struggled with them. Obviously, they've been the best team in the league all year long. So um, it is a real challenge to keep the ball in front of you um, and not get broken down and getting forced into a lot of rotations. Coach, is it a challenge also to try to stay in it mentally against Utah because they wear you out in that sense because if they get on a roll, maybe it takes you out of what you want to do offensively to try to catch up to them. Well, it's not just that. It's it's that they're one of the best defensive teams in the league too. So, I mean, you know, th this team's been elite at both ends of the floor. Um, but, yes, um, the mental part of staying the course is really big in any game, but especially when you're playing the best teams because – inevitably they're going to go on runs in the game and uh, you're going to have to stay the course and hang in there uh, and stay with what you're doing and and hope to stop that run and get on one of your own. The bench production obviously going to be a key tonight. How important is that for your guys when they come in to try to keep pace offensively because we know how good Utah's bench is? Well, yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, it's all, they play nine guys. Every one of those guys is really, really good. Um, you know, so it, it's, you've got to match them one through nine. I mean, that's what you have to do. It, it, it's, uh, it's not just the bench, your starters, everybody. I mean, you're going to have to play extremely well um, with everybody you bring into the game. Hey, Stan, Christian Clark here. Uh, the last time you guys faced uh, Utah, Steve Adams compared them to the Spurs for a few years back, the 2014 Spurs. He's not the only player in the league who I've heard made that comparison. Do you, do you see any parallels there? I mean, do you see any of that? Well, I mean, there are some in terms of their ball movement, um, their ability to play both ends of the floor. But, you know, you go back even that many years and there's just no comparison in terms of the, uh, the volume and uh, efficiency of the three-point shooting. Yeah, and you made a point of sticking uh, with your starting five from the very beginning, and you talked about how the numbers have always come out right with that group. But uh, even uh, defensively as of late, they haven't been where you hope they're, they're, you wanted them to be. So what are you seeing with that starting group and why they aren't defending the way you hope they would be you know, for the start of the season? Listen, we, we haven't defended since the first, you know, six, seven games of the year. We just haven't defended well as a group, not – not the first unit, not the second unit, not anybody. I think, you know, we've been slightly improved over the last four games um, as to where we were in the first 11 games of February, um, but still nowhere near where we need to be. Coach, uh, Eric Walden, Sully Tribune. I was just wondering if you could speak to uh, the job that Quinn Snyder has done in Utah over this seven year stretch, kind of in taking a team that won 25 games and, and turning it into an NBA title contender? Yeah, I mean, Quinn's one of the best in the league. I mean, he's done an outstanding job. Um, they've done a good job as an organization. Look, I mean, the one thing with Utah is they go out, they hire good people, a guy like Quinn, and they stick with them. I mean, you know, they, they have. Uh, you know, along with a couple of other organizations, really understand uh, the value of continuity, and and they've had it there. I mean, you know, they they just haven't gone through very many coaches there, and you know, Quinn has developed this team. Look, they made a big change. You know, this was a team that when Derek Favors was there the first time, you know, just as recently as two years ago, were playing two bigs in their starting lineup, and then last year. As the year went on, and especially into the bubble with injuries, you know, Quinn went all in on shooting threes. 
and shooting a lot of them, totally transformed their team from what they had been um, before and then brought that into this year. You've got to give him a lot of credit. Not only he's been a great coach for seven years, but what he's done from the end of last year into this year in transforming this team um, from where they are, um, he's done an outstanding job. Great. Thanks very much, Coach. All right.